Hello, welcome, well, welcome back. <laughs> Today I am going to be storing some PCs. Um, this is what I have in my little box. Today I'm storing some uh, 80s PCs, some from the new album, um, most of them from the new album, and then some pops for y'all song. So I'm gonna start in this binder, which is my big binder, the one for my bias line. Um, so let me flip oh, all the way to the back. Okay, so today the first thing that I have to put away is this last Hongjung PC for Movement Era. <laughs> I had some, or you all saw my stack of items. Um, movement from my gom last time I got mail from her and so I sent my friend some Yunos and Mingis and Uyongs and she sent me this home from back. I'm very grateful <laughs> because now I've finished home from full movement era. I'm only missing one this last Songha PC. So I'm really really hoping that he comes um, soon. We move on to spin-off, which I've set up for. And I don't really know what order things go in, but I need to find all the Hongjung Songhua and Yo songs. I think everybody else goes on the other one. Yeah. And so, oh goodness, <laughs> this is a witness version, witness, witness, this goes here, blankets, these are the same version, this is okay. I will definitely have to reorganize things because this is not gonna look good, I don't think. But let's see. Version A Q R. Oh, I'm showing. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> um. So this is the Z version Q R, which does not go on this page. It looks. Do any of these? These are a witness. Nope. Wait. These, some of these go here. These are both from... I think like this. <laughs> I don't know. I think once I have more in, then I will be able to figure it out. But right now, I will just... Is that right? I think A2 was actually supposed to be the blanket one, but I didn't realize the blanket was going to be the same. Hmm. Either way, we will start with this. Um, and I will definitely have to reorganize at some point. So then we have the QR, which is this one, and then this is witness. These are all witness. And then <clears throat> your song over here, and then this. Okay. Cool. So, how's it going? <laughs> Um, what's been going on? How was your first win? Congratulations, Inkigayo nomination. Um, and I think we got second on Inkigayo question mark. I don't recall for sure, but the second nomination ever for them. The first time was for fireworks. Um, 
which is very exciting that we qualified to get nominated on Inkigayo. <laughs> uh, um, what the heck are these? This has to go somewhere, so I'll just put him here. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, I feel like there's been a lot of content. Like they were on Idol Radio and the episode just came out today, so I'll watch that. And then... What else happened? They were on... Hmm. They were on... A show. Uh, something for KBS. I can't remember what it's called. 1D something. <laughs> um. And... That was very fun. Very relaxing. To watch. The episode was like... The first episode is like 20 something minutes and the second episode is like an hour and some change and I was not expecting that. I opened the video thinking it was going to be another like half hour episode and it was fully <laughs> an hour and like, I don't know, 13, 23 minutes and I was like, oh, we're watching a movie today. But it was very fun. Cool. So this is that. <laughs> like I said, I will have to like reorganize or like, change up how I set this up. I do have some things coming in. I don't think anything for these three. Yeah. Uh, but let me. I'll put, I'll put stuff away in my miscellaneous binder now. Today I have some, most, a lot of things <laughs> for this binder, uh, all of it really from spin-off, and I have both of my journals, so I was, I realized that when I did this, because I'm collecting, if you don't know, I collect all album PCs for my top three, so everybody who was just in the big binder. And from movement era, since there were so many extra album PCs that I ended up having, I decided to collect two of each member. Someone's doing laundry, so that sound will be on for a while. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, so I'm setting up for... Not setting up, but I'm doing it two PCs per member for everybody who I don't collect. So I'm still waiting to try and find or to obtain um, my second Yuno and my second Mingi. Um, and I don't have any of the or either of the journals that I would like to have for movement. But I do have both of the journals for spin-off. So I'm just gonna put him on this page and have it be like that kind of transition <laughs> instead of having Jungle be on the top and then boom, spin off with somebody else on the bottom because I don't think my brain would like that. But I will put his spin off pieces here. I think both of these are witness versions. Not 100% sure, but we'll find out in a moment. Yes. So they're both witness version, which is like the full one with the actual CDs. Um, and then as for these guys, I will do... Should I keep it? I have Wheel with San here, and then you know with Mingi and Jungle himself. So do I want to do you know Mingi Wuyong San again? Maybe the two with fire hair together. I think I would like that. 
So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Mingi on the top row this time. So I have this blanket PC. Oh, sorry, I didn't do close ups. Oops. I have this blanket PC which I pulled in my Poco version. I realized that Mayday Games and also like whoever else sells sleeves. Um, popcorn is how I found out. But the Mayday Games sleeves, they do come in the size between 63 and a half and the 50 whatever. Um, so I'm debating on if I want to order a couple sets of those because I don't really like how the purple ones fit in the sleeves from my Yo binder. Um, and I preferred the orange ones, but even the orange ones slip around sometimes. But there's one that's a size up that's like navy blue. And I think it's like 61 by 92. So they're gonna be long. Uh, I don't know by how much. But they're gonna be long by a little bit. But they might fit left to right better than the orange or the purple ones. So I need to try that. Um, and then on this page, I th think you know will have to be by himself for now. But this is another Poco version. And who's left? You know, San. So I will put San. I think on the top row this time. Yeah. And you know will go on the bottom. And I'll just do it this way to kind of distribute the weight of it evenly, <laughs> a bit more even, in the meantime. And then, in my albums from the US, so in my Witness albums, I pulled these two, so I pulled the Hello 82 bonus, Hello 82, no, the US exclusive maybe, um, for Sun and for Jungle. So I've, I've decided to keep them. I will keep them. <laughs> and I will keep them in my binder. Um, I did this, I did think, I had to have a think about if I wanted to keep the, essentially the pod, the exclusive, and one album card to equal to, or if I wanted to do two album cards and these random pops um but i decided to stay with the album cards and with these two exclusives because they're cute like look at them hello i don't have any songs yet but i think i have his like uh witness one coming in. Is this gonna bother me? Hmm, that's the big question. Because there is blonde and there's partial blonde hair and they both have peace signs and they're both wearing white. But I don't know if I will not like it because I know that they're from different eras. I think it has to go there. Otherwise, it won't fit anywhere else. And I'm not gonna put it on a page by itself. Also, I know I don't have any Unos right now for Bob's. I have some coming in. <laughs> um, again, they're in the fixed claim shebang. So when I get that in, then I will finally have <laughs> at least the one Uno Bob because I really have everybody except for him from Movement Era. Like, obviously, Somo from June, I picked up Son. Kind of a few. Um, and then these were from extras that I cleaned to help fit fill sets. So I have Mingi Wuyang, and then Chongo Wuyang, and more Mingi, and then this is a duplicate your song. And then like zero, you know. So I promise I will have at least one you know coming in. So for this binder, this is 
Trevor Faber. So for this binder, I have four, but a surprising four. <laughs> so, uh, this is part three. <clears throat> so they go here. means I need to take these out. And this one too. So I have these Everline, I believe they are. Everline, Everline 5? I'm pretty sure Everline 5. Um, I got this. <gasps> You all are not going to believe. Um, also, if they're fake, don't tell me because I don't want to know. Uh, thank you, please. <laughs> please and thank you. Um, I got these from a seller in the Netherlands with two other things that I will put away. But I I got these two in a set and the set was like $10 for both of them. <laughs> it was like $10. Maybe 15 um, and that's kind of crazy. I thought they were fake. I thought it was a scammer. Then I got my items. Um, <laughs> so, yes. I finally have the filter ones. Everland filter. Oh, I should have scanned these beforehand. It's okay. I've been making my own template out of my own scans. And... I should have put these through my scanner before I put them away, but that is perfectly fine. Wow, look at this page, this brown page. Y'all could have seen it. Okay, but here's the close-up. Cute. So we have the same pose in the diagonals. Everybody's wearing brown with some fashion of white in the outfit. I love it. Cool. Awesome. I don't know what's supposed to be here. Probably nothing, but... Okay. For this page... Also, I think I did move things around. I don't know if this is different from when you saw it before, but I moved some things around. I have the final two Make Star Lucky Draws from Epilogue. So I have this one. It is the yellow one. I think it's, oops, sorry. I think it's diary, but I've been wrong before, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, don't hold me to it. Um, but there's this one, and then there's this one, which is the white one. I'm like 94.3% sure that the white one is in fact A. I just get mixed up between green and yellow, and which one is diary and which one is C. But. This is what I have here, and then nothing else for this binder. It's going great, everybody. I'm only missing two for epilogue, which is honestly kind of wild. Like, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Well, there, obviously. Okay. There in the spot that I left. Oh, God. Alright, welcome back. Um... I have my movement arrow binder here, and I have a couple things to put away for. I also think I went through and uh, shifted some things around, um, but for right now, I'm gonna put this one away. This is not KQ Shop. This is in fact the Hello 82 fanzine pop. Um, but I've... Yeah. I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> um, all I know is that now when I, if, when, whatever, I get Sound Wave 2, I will have this nice spread that has 
four of this picture <laughs> and four of this picture, uh, which I think will be very nice to look at. This Soundwave 2, Lucky Draw, I don't know if I'm ever going to get it, quite honestly. I think my gong is not going to address my DM and is not going to send me my item, which is unfortunate. And I don't know if or when I will ever find it again. Probably sometime in the future, but just sucks that I pay for it. Since like, they said that they got the okay, <laughs> they said they got the items on where they were sorting items and were doing address checks on the 24th. Guess of which month? October. So October 24th, they said everything arrived, we're doing, or I'm doing uh, address checks, give me a couple days to sort, blah blah blah. And then I sent them a message on the 20th because on their master list it says that the Soundwave 2 go is completed when in fact I don't have my item. I don't know if everybody in the group chat just doesn't have their stuff, but there are some people in the group chat who have had something mailed out from them. Um, I don't know if it's Soundwave Lucky Draw 2, but in the mailing videos that I've been watching the send outs there are people's ads of people that are in my group chat for this to go so whatever hope for the best expect the worst uh, it's not gonna come it's also still blank on my wish list because i don't think it will come um but this is spinoff this is what i have for spinoff i didn't join any goes actually that's a lie um, I got slightly tricked, but not really, into joining the Mixer, whatever had online and offline, because people were saying they were going to have different outfits, and did they? No. <laughs> so, Kiki is still on their same mission of having as many pops with the same outfit as possible. I don't think I've set up space for the things that I have to go in this binder. We will see. I really don't think I did. Uh, but I have three core things. Four is like the magic number. <laughs> um, I have four things to put away today, and I think they're all in order of how I wanted to put them away. Um, but I think I wanted... Yes, I have the Rakuma, Rakuna, uh, part two, pod, this is the Japan pod for pod, part two, and it will go here, because although this is the subcase set, the outfit matches this and the background is, they're both green. So, what do I think? I think I like it. I don't know. Give me a couple weeks, I'll figure it out. And then, also the Wonderwall page. From the same, remember the seller who I bought the, oh my god, um, Everline, Everline 5 set from? Well, I bought the last two Wonder Walls from them and <clears throat> would you believe so I'm I'm like kind of convinced that they are in fact real and not fakes um because how do you make let me take it out of the sleeve how do you do the hollow on a fake like, this is not an overlay. Um, I mean, uh, whatever. You know what I mean. Like, it's not a laminate that somebody put on top. Um, so I don't know how you would 
place an order for this kind of thing. Um, and it was only $10. $10. I've seen this on the Courage Pan for like $150. Is that the price that it should be? I don't know. All I know is it's from Wonderwell merch and you have to buy a set and it came with a collect book. <laughs> so I don't know. But now I have Wonderwall finish, which is why I moved Wonderwall and Mernil onto different pages. Cute, love that. And then, okay, Play 82 goes up here. This page is gonna be ugly. Sorry, it's true. Nothing's gonna match. This is gonna be bright yellow. This is gonna be bright blue, like, whatever. But I think on this page, I wanted to put the last thing of today. But it arrived and I have Treasure Cafe Yosso. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to look like, so again, if it happens to be a fake, don't tell me. <laughs> because what I don't know will not hurt me. <laughs> um. So this yes song is going here, Trailer Cafe. I know he should go like in the front if we're doing by like chronologically, but my the front of my binder is like concert stuff. So that doesn't really fit. And it doesn't fit with part two or the sub K stuff. And then this is merch and they're all four pockets. And I already just told you about this mismatch that'll be fixed at some point. So it has to go here. Because at least with this, like, it's blue, there's blue. I'm gonna call this blue. Um, but yes. So I now own this treasure cafe and the Rakuma pop were on my grail wish list. Because I didn't think I would ever get them. And when the same person was selling both of them on Mercari, I was like, oh. Bundle. <laughs> Bundle it. Hello. Hello. I've decided to add another part part to this. Because why not? Um, today I'm going to start with a different binder in a different order. So I'm going to start with my merch binder because I had this postcard just sitting on my desk for a couple days now. And I want to start part. Hello, welcome, and welcome back. <laughs> I'm just story things. Everything's pretty much organized, so this is just a story video. Uh, but I have this one. This is Play 82, which is like the Hell 82 LA pop up. For merch, I think it was. So I have this one, and now he's gonna go here. There might be a better way to store this that's like more cohesive. Like maybe over here, but for now he's gonna stay there. And then I have this Wonderwall postcard from Movement Era. It was from the Lucky Draw. Um, from the Lucky Draw from Wonderwall Round 2. Yep, postcard included. So, I'm putting it right here. Cool. Maybe I should put like white paper behind these. I don't know. I'll decide later, I think. <laughs> but that's those are the two things that I have for this binder. You'll be surprised to know that I bought 
new paper to make fillers, or well, not fillers, covers for these binders because I've said multiple times that I don't really like the green, so I bought white paper. I just haven't found the time to make new ones exactly. Um, okay, the problem we have today is that I need to find space for these two. So I have MMT from the pre-order, and then I have Wonderwall. Uh, whoa! Something was on the back of that. Wonderwall... I don't know. Round three, maybe? I don't remember. So the question is, do I put them on this page? <clears throat> or, let's see. Yeah, do I put them on this page? Or do they fit elsewhere a little better? But for now, I think I'm going to do this. Oops. Cool. And with that, I get a little closer to finishing part three. We have the Movement Era binder. I have five things to put away for this one. Here they are. Okay, so I believe they are in order. I really, I was not hoping to, but <clears throat> was kind of hoping to wait until I got everything from my gong. This is what goes here. But I again am impatient and <laughs> cannot wait. So I'm storing these before my package from my gong comes. Oh, sorry. This is Everline 3. On the back. I really like the variation of colors of the backs from Gorilla from Movement Era. I think it's fun. I kind of wish... I mean, I like to see the backs of cards, but with the amount that they put out, like, I would need four binders, <laughs> or just put everybody, <clears throat> or just put Yosung in a big binder, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, I think this one was supposed to go here, and this one was supposed to go here. I think so. Um, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, but I like seeing the backs. It's just if I let them, like if I don't double side, then it's not that good. Mm -mm. It's not very convenient anymore. Also, I bought these, the S24 set and Wonderwall Lucky Draw 2 from the same seller. And I'll be completely honest, I don't know if these are real or not. Um, this is the Psychic S24 from S24 3. And then this is the Wonderwall Lucky Draw 2. Very pretty. The thing is, this is like so flimsy. Like, it's like, I feel like I can rip it very easily. I don't know if they're supposed to be matte. Like, <clears throat> it feels like a sticker, like I don't understand, um, but I haven't seen a lot of people who have received theirs yet, so I can't, I haven't been able to compare. If mine is real or not yet, so it's a bit unfortunate, but it is a very pretty picture, so I'll probably keep it. And the back is the same. 
color so like this i believe is music bank chile outfit and the back is like the same color as yosong's sweater i don't know i like it a lot but yeah if you know what the like what this is supposed to look like or the thickness it's supposed to be please let me know because <laughs> I've seen a couple of other people selling it, but I can't tell from the pictures if it's that thin or matte. Um, and I feel a little bit weird asking them to just send me a picture of their card without me buying it. So I haven't asked anybody. Also, I'm just putting this filler here because I want to. <laughs> Anyway, this is a KQ shop. Cool. Okay, that next I have this stack of cards for my big binder. So, I am very excited to inform you all that I have finally completed epilogue. Round of applause. Yes, so um, I actually got the last four that I needed between yesterday and today, so I can finally remove these fillers and put away the last pumpkin and so on. I think I told y'all I didn't want to like overpay for them. And I'll be like, to be fair, I did not overpay for them, but I also did not pay three or four dollars for them. Just a little bit sad. However, they're here. So let's see. For this page, I have this home film, a version home film, and the suit outside. Wow, can y'all believe I'm like actually caught up now? Like, fully I'm caught up. Like I only need pieces from this era that we are currently in. Hello? <laughs> it's kind of wild. So yeah, this whole jump up here and this somewhere in the middle. Ugh. And the last one we need, or I need, is this somehow over here. Cool. Oh, wow, okay, let's look through, let's look through. Okay, so we have a version. <laughs> this is this diary and Z. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Okay, and this song back here. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'm not actually caught up all the way. I'm still only missing this song call, however. I would like to believe that I'm going to get him soon. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, the last things for this binder are spin-off. Now these ones over here are witness version, which I put at the end, so yeah. Let me see what these are. This is a version QR and a version QR, and this is the version QR. It's got the black back, and then these two have white backs. I don't know why I'm trying to like hide the QR code from y'all. I still don't really understand it. <laughs> like I'm trying, but I don't understand it. So we have this one here. 
And then the CEO song over here. Perfect. Cool. And then C version. This goes up here, right? Yeah. So the seal song that I have goes over here. I do have a few more polka versions coming in. A few. <laughs> um, I made the rash decision to buy some cheap polka versions like a couple of weeks ago and then Makestar did what Makestar does and released Lucky Drills <sighs> and I would like to think that I've been doing good <laughs> this comeback and I haven't um something's wrong what's wrong here this goes over here. These have to switch. Right? This goes over here, they have to switch. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, I was gonna join a go for a Mixar Lucky Draw. Because they're doing listen to this. Listen here. They're doing random one of twenty. <laughs> Random one of 20, okay? And then if you order five, then you get one random of eight of an additional photo. This sounds mad if, um, you do not collect. <laughs> but random one of 20 is crazy. So there's online and offline, one is bunny, like a bunny outfit, a bunny like hood thing, and then the other one is like another like gun version, and then, um, then there's a unit with them in the bunny outfits. So for your song there are three potentials out of the, the 20, and then if you order five, then you get an extra, not an extra, but an, adi an additional one. What's happening? This goes here. Um, and they are in pink. They have like pink bunny things. I don't know. Um, I was gonna join a group order for them. But then I decided I didn't want to deal with the forms um, because Mixer doesn't really do even pulls or like ship in sets. There is no guarantee that if you buy 20, you will get one of each. Um, and I didn't want to deal with the form because those are already... I've done that enough. So I just ordered six, I think, or five on my own, and then I bought them directly to me. Um, something's off. Down, down, up. Down. Why is it like that? Hmm. These need to switch. Why? That's interesting. Why is it like that? Hmm. Oh, Hong sir, why didn't you follow the theme? It makes sense that this would go with the ears, right? Because he's made. I don't know, squirrel ears on his head. And everybody else for the set did cat or dog ears. That's what you see from Sir Doberman himself. But for some reason, Hong Jung didn't do an animal ear for the set. Like, hmm, so it's off because 
yeah interesting okay anyway i'm only missing two witness surprisingly both of them are so well i guess unsurprisingly um still missing i have this home tune on the way i traded my blanket you know for blanket home tune and then I'm just missing Soha, but I hope I pull him in one of one of the eleven polka versions that I have coming in. And then let's see one, two, three, four, five. People haven't been too picky this time around, which is good. But yeah. okay, anyway. <laughs> that's what I have for this one. And then when you get into Zoom in for you. I have some things for my miscellaneous. Um, I don't know if I have any other Everlines coming in. For some reason, I think yes. So I'll have to put them on a fresh page. Um, let's see. Remember when I said I didn't want to run out of pages? Like these hollow pages? Because I didn't think that I would have enough non-yo song pieces for 30 pages yeah remember when i said that <laughs> my goodness that took forever anyway i'm gonna count after i put song in but if there's 20 pages in here i'm going to be upset at myself and only myself because <laughs> why do i need 24 pocket pages of pieces I did not intentionally mean to collect. Let me get fillers. So, it's not 20. Also, if I don't end up having anyone else, I for some reason think I claimed Yuno and Jomo for my fixed to pick up sets um, or members to fill a set. But if I don't have those two or two in general coming, then I will move these two to this page since they're the same members and I will just put them on that page. So I have one more page free. Um, but let me flip to my wrong page. I have this um, grave card, I think. No, it's a QR card of Weon. Um, he was on my list to intentionally collect for this OTA section. However, um, he was up for trade and I liked it. <laughs> so I traded for it. I still have the other one on my template. So I do have three woos up there, so I don't know, but yeah, no, nothing else for today. Um, I would like to say that the next video will be storing from my golem mail video, <laughs> um, finishing movement, almost, but I don't think that would be true. I have an Yokio order on the way. <laughs> I know I just said that like two weeks ago, but I have an Yokio on the way. So I'll be finishing Paradigm and starting my new collection, which is exciting. So yeah, I don't know, look forward to those. This video might not go up this week, being the week of the 20 something. So I go up the first week of February. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> have a good day. Hope you all, yeah, have a good day. And I will see you next time. Sound good? Sound good. Okay. Bye.